I saw a man here who was born on the 29th of June. You, come here. I'm hearing something like Lulu. Who's Lulu? It's my wife. Where is she? She's that side. Bring her. Lulu, baby, come that side. Let her also come. Because I see that your birthday is very close. Let us celebrate it with a blessing. Thank you, Jesus. I heard something like Lulu, and I saw that you were born on the 29th of June. Yeah, it's me. Huh? Yes. It's you. Yes. I want to tell you something. Today, I heard God saying, He will move you from a room. Thank you, Jesus. You see the room where you're staying? Yes. I'm seeing God taking you out of the room, Thank you, Jesus. giving you a house. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. From a room to a house. Ah, this will be a lesson to your people. Let, let's take it down a little bit. This will be a lesson to your to your brother. Thank you, Jesus. You hear me? Yes. Mm. This, will be, this will be a lesson to your brother. Yes. You're blessed. Thank you, Jesus. Mama. Or let, let, me, let me ask him, did he confirm the issue of 29th? You were born on the 29th, eh? Of June. Yes. Mm. I believe it's only a few days. Let's believe God can bring something to you. Thank you, Jesus. You hear me? Yes. Let's, let's believe. If I believe, you must believe. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, viewers all over the world. Welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Sunday prophetic service under the leadership of Apostle J.B. and Prophetess T.E. Maganenisa. With me here today is my family, who was located during the service by Prophet Andres Simono, who ministered upon their lives. So kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Uh, my name is Flanky uh, Chaoke. I'm from Tembisa. Uh, this one that's here next to me is my wife, Leka. Bill, then uh, my 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 daughter Nketwa Chauk. Yes. Today during the service, the men of God located you and spoke upon your life. I'd love that you please tell us in detail what he said to you when he picked you out of the crowd. Uh, you say uh, there is a man who's bathing on 29. Then I ran in front because I'm the one who is there on 29th of July, actually. I, but he said June, but it's July. So he said, who, who's Lolo? I said, it's my wife. He said, call her to come. Then I call my wife. Then he tell me that there's a house that is coming with the day that uh, I'm going, as the, as I'm going to, to, be, to, to, to celebrate my birthday. This, this birthday will come with my house. Yes. And how long have you been trusting in God for a house? Uh, it's been long because I get the prophecy by the day about the house. Then we believe that God one day will make a way for us. So then from that time he tell us we are believing that one day uh, God will take us from the room from Tembisa and put us somewhere where we can get our house. Yes. And how do you feel that today the men of God located you and ministered upon your lives and declared a house unto you guys? Actually, I'm very happy because in the morning I was praying a lot. I was asking God that he must do a new things to me as I know that this uh, week is the week of a service of protect, uh, the prophecy. Then I was praying a lot that God must do something. Even when he, before he called me, I was praying. I said, God, please do not pass me today because this is my day. Amen. Brother, the issue of food. I'm seeing a business of food on you. Amen. Huh? I believe, I believe. You are trying to sell food. Yes. But it looks like everything is closed now. Yes. You hear me? Yes. You believe God can restore you? I believe. You believe? <laughs> yes. 
is making you people to confuse each other. Yes. You hear me? Yes. yes. Because I see this this job that you are having in Rustenburg is making people to fight. A lot. A lot. So now, how do you get a project and you allow it to come between you people? Is it not money? Because this is money. Why are you allowing the spirit of Satan to divide you now? Are you hearing me? Yes. I want to pray for you. Uh, so, uh, the, one of the reasons why many of us will fail to be big in businesses is because we are failing to be together. The Bible says if a couple stands together, there's no way God can bless you. You, you are making God to be confused. You know, God is not a confused person, but you are making him to, to be confused. Because he doesn't know how to bless you more now. Because the minute he blesses you more, you fight. And when you fight, there's a bigger project that is coming. How is he going to bring that? You see, you'll kill each other now. I want to pray for you for unity. Because you people, God can make you millionaires. Amen. I'm Amen. telling you. Amen. And remember the issue of the house. Yes. You want to buy a house? Yes. I will pray for you. Let this project make you people to stand together. Amen. Amen. And if you stand together, I'm seeing another big project that will come. Never. Amen. Never. Inga Sidde. Huh? Inga Sidde. You're saying what? Inga Sidde. Why? You don't want? Yeah. Why you don't want? You don't want her to be a millionaire? Uh, for can you hear ten, this demon? Uh? Maybe you can explain some people are international here. Projects for what we want to destroy everything. Project, project, everyday. Project it every day. Leave them as they are. Ah. Small children to be millionaires. Don't trouble us. Ah, when did you know we are our millionaire? When did At a place who when has been a millionaire when before. Who is she to start being a millionaire? Project, project, project. We are always chica. praying for projects. No, no, Dirty projects. Project. As this long, thing as long of as, let me tell big you, must stop. As long as Charis is still alive, you are still going to be traveled a lot. Yeah. I don't have a problem. You are still going to have a problem. Let me uh, get a help there with prayer because I want us to be quick. Let me get a help there. You are failing to sleep. You hear me? Yes, is your child here? No, he's not here today. Mm. The issue of your child, this infection on the private, yes. it's affecting your faith. You must not worry. Amen. You hear me? Thank you. Lord. You must not worry. Sometimes challenges must be there to make us to pray more. Amen. So this infection will leave your child. Amen. Because now when the child is urinating, it's like there's a serious pain. Huh? Serious pain. So now this child will be healed. Amen. You're free. And with me here today is my father, who was located during the service by Prophet Andres Simono, who ministered upon Please his life. Sir, so kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Inos Sebati. I come from Pretoria. Today during the service, Prophet Andres Simono located you and ministered upon your life. Kindly please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. Yes, I've got a four-year-old at home, a boy, uh, who got a very serious uh, bladder infection in, in, during the week. So he's just been crying even at night and you know, because of the pain, not being able to sleep you know, because of that infection. So uh, what the prophet said that um, I should not worry, and this thing is beginning to affect my faith, but I must not worry because God will heal him. He will make sure that he's healed in Jesus' name. Amen. And how has the issue of your son affected you? Uh, it's been very painful, very difficult to actually sleep because every time you think a lot about him, you say, hey, he's still just a four-year-old, you know, does he have to go through so much pain, you know, in the process? I think this is what has been a challenge and just really affecting me you know, physically, you know, really. So, but I'm very happy that um, 
you know, there is an answer that I've received today. Amen. Amen. And how do you feel that today the men of God located you and declared healing upon your son? I really feel very much relieved and uh, confident just knowing that um, this problem, this pain that he's been going through, it's now over. It's over. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. And how would you encourage somebody who's going to come across this clip? I think it's important to, you know, always remember that God is, God is always there, that uh, we should just learn to trust in him and, uh, you know, put everything in his hands, that he knows what is happening in our lives. Amen. Thank you. Come here. The issue of the car is making you to pray now. That's true. You hear me? Yes. This car that has been stolen. Yes. Is making you to pray. Yes. I can tell you, th this is the issue that the demons doesn't want you to get married. You hear me? Yes. You know, so that this man must be confused. Yes. But don't worry, God will bring a solution. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Because I can see that these are demons that are also coming from your sight. You know, this stolen cup. Come out. Ma'am, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Okay, my name is Wanani. Originally, I'm from Guiani, but I'm staying in Aran, in, in, in Nigerian at the moment. So today during the service, the man of God located you and ministered upon your life. I'd love that you please tell us in details what he said to you and please confirm it. Yes. Um, he said the issue of the car, um, it's causing you to pray more. This is um, a, a confusion and it's coming from the side of your family because this guy now is confused because of the car being stolen. People don't want you to marry where you are coming from. So the car that was stolen belongs to uh, my partner. We are currently saving money so that we can finish up so that we can uh, do everything officially. We already started with the process of me having to, to come to my family to pay Lobola, but we still have to finish the whole process in terms of us having to get married officially. So we are currently in that process. So I confirm the prophecy to be true because we are praying towards having to formalize everything so that we can be married. So the car was stolen. Um, it was um, last week, last week Friday, not the Friday that we're coming from, the other one. It was on the 3rd of June. Um, when he woke up to prepare as normal to go to work, he found that the car was was not there. The car was stolen. The car, it's a VW Polo. It's it's white. So I confirm the prophecy to be true. So ever since that prophecy, uh, we have been praying more. There was an edge that we should... I just felt all the time that we should be praying, but for some reason, I I just felt lazy to be praying. So I do confirm that ever since the car was stolen, the urge to pray now has been there, and I have been praying a lot. Yes, so that's I do confirm everything that I have received to be true. And we have even involved the police, but up until the, today, the car has not been found, so the car is still missing. We are looking for the car we have not received it as yet so from the prophecy prophet and said that like let's believe uh, for a solution to come out of this so we are really praying for a solution to come from everything that has happened yes how do you feel that the men of god located you in the midst of what you and a, what you and your partner are going through and he's declared blessings and solutions upon your life today I'm really happy because this is something that we have been praying for and it's something that we have been praying towards too ever since happened uh, on Friday. So for me, this is just, um, I was praying for me to get a confirmation regarding everything because it has really brought confusion and I can really affirm that even him, the whole thing, it's really causing confusion upon his life. So the fact that we're located through the prophecy, I believe God that a solution has already come because I got what I wanted to hear from God because I wanted to hear what God is saying regarding this whole situation. So all I can say is glory to Jesus and I am grateful and I thank God for that. Yes. And how would you encourage somebody who's currently in the same situation that you guys are facing? What I can say is that sometimes we tend to 
not I mean I, I believe we can hear vo we can hear God when he's speaking upon our lives but Amen. sometimes we take things slightly like I've been saying I've been having a play an edge that I need to pray I need to pray so all I can say is that God has his way of speaking upon our lives and then if we hear God like I mean as children of God we must be familiar with his voice and we shouldn't take anything for granted because I strongly believe that at that point when I've been having this edge and in terms of also encouraging him to pray uh, I believe maybe the situation have been different but any other way I believe that a solution has come so I'm grateful to God for that so I would encourage other people to listen when God is saying you cannot necessarily say that because you can because you're not a minister of God or something you cannot hear God speaking God speaks to us in different ways so we shouldn't we shouldn't avoid his voice we should listen and we should be careful to always find ourselves. We shouldn't be lazy as Christians. Like we should keep on with our faith and keep on praying. That's all that I can say. That keep on praying and believe God for the best. Mama. Your relationship with your child has affected you. True. You hear me? It's, true. it's like now you people you are having a very cold relationship. It's true. So let's pray for peace. You hear me? Amen. Let's pray for peace. Amen. You people you must fix your relationship as a mother and a daughter. God bless you. Ma'am, please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Uh, my name is Ceci Modao. Yes, um, I was prophesied by where you come from? Oh, I come from David. Today, during the service, the man of God located you and ministered upon your life. Kindly please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. Ah, he said there's a problem between me and my daughter. Yeah, and then there must be peace, must make peace between each other. Yes. So the problem started a long time ago because uh, when I was at school, she was staying at a paternal side. So she came to stay with me when she was 13. So there was a, always a bad influence on the other side, of the paternal side, that I left her when she was three months old. I didn't love her and all that jazz. So when she came, we've never got on well, but I thought uh, she was a teenager. Everything will be all right. Ah. It never happened. So even when she wanted to go to tertiary, because she was an A student, and I was alone paying her school fees and everything. But the influence was coming from the paternal side, whose father, OK, her father had died. But anyway, so when she was, she was an A student, when she was supposed to go to tertiary, I suggested that she takes um, engineering or something like that, or um, become. But she went to do um, fashion design. And now there's no business. I think she's destitute. So, but she's still keeping a distance and she's been rebellious for 30 years, for 30 full years. So now I'm also tired of always making peace. So how do you feel that today the man of God located you and further advised regarding the relationship with your daughter? Oh no, it's good, it's good. I'm happy about it because I've always been the one. But it was like, she's doing me a favor because when I think everything is fine, then she resorts to her own old ways. So. You know, I thought I, maybe this will kill me now. Because there's a time when I, I nearly died because of stress. You know, she didn't have money for rent. I took her in. Then she was not speaking to me. So I told her, as a parent, I know I'm not perfect. But you can't live in a disharmonious uh, environment so she can tell me where I'm going wrong but I will start by telling her and then she she upped and left with a daughter 
who has two at the time. We are coming to you. Were you pregnant? Hmm? I don't know. Why you say you don't know? I have no clue. Huh? I don't have a clue. You're saying what? I don't have a clue. I didn't know I was pregnant or I'm pregnant. I don't know. <laughs> you, you don't have the clue. You were just confused. Yeah. Because of the blood. Huh? Yeah. Because I'm seeing blood coming out of you. True. That's why I'm asking you. So now you're saying you're confused. You don't know whether you're pregnant or not because I'm just seeing blood coming down there. You hear me? Amen. Mm, this is it's like you have lost a child. So we need to pray for you. You know, I believe you know marriage can come in a right way. Amen. I believe so. Amen. You need to put your life in order. You love Christ. Marriage will come. Amen. Because this bleeding has confused you a lot. Amen. Huh? Yes. So you are healed. Uh, my name is Salome Makwela. I'm from Ivory Park. Today, during the service, the man of God located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. Uh, he said, uh, I've got uh, miscarriage and I had no idea that I was pregnant. I was very shocked when he said that. Um, this thing happened over the weekend. I, I, I saw blood, I was like, uh, uh, it's not my time uh, for periods, why I see blood? I was so confused, I was so lost, but now I got the clarity now. Thank you. And how do you feel that you were located today? Uh, I feel, I, I thank God, I thank God a lot for the prophecy. I thank God, I thank God, nothing much, I thank God. And how would you encourage somebody who's viewing this? Uh, don't stop praying, pray, 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 pray until something happens. Never stop praying. Even if it feels like stop praying. The time you stop praying, the time the devil is attacking you. Pray, never stop praying. Thank you.